From 1949 to 2024, these 75 years are merely a fleeting glimpse in the course of human history. But in this glimpse, China has leapfrogged in its development. In these 75 years, countless friends from other countries have knocked on the door of China, witnessed the tremendous transformation that has taken place in China while starring in their own tales of development. In 1984, then 65-year-old German expert Ge Hiich came to Wuhan diesel engine plant. That was not long after China had proposed the policy of introducing foreign talents to help with China's development. Ge Hiich became the first foreign director in China after 1949. Since his tenure at the plant, Ge Hiich improved production technologies as well as the management system, breathing new energies into the plant as its organizational structure was optimized, technologies updated, and product quality enhanced. After these positive changes, the plant even received export orders from seven Southeast Asian countries. Catalyzing domestic reforms via opening up have been proven successful in numerous cases in China during the past decades. From talent introduction to joining the WTO, then to opening up various sectors including the manufacturing, service and finance sector in the new era, such efforts have fueled a soaring Chinese economy while contributing to global economic growth. In 2002, Korean entrepreneur Choi Song Ha arrived in Anzi County, southeastern China's Zhejiang province for the first time. Back then, cement factories and mines dotted the dusty county, which was standing at the crossroads of transformation. In the following 20 years, Anzi County has been committed to green development and building a beautiful countryside. Cui ran a wooden product manufacturing company there, and every year he would take 20% of its profits to invest in environmentally friendly initiatives so that he could conserve more energy and cut more pollution in his business. He said that these years, local companies have all been seeking to transform, and there's no reason for him to fall behind. China realized industrialization in only a fraction of the time used by the developed countries. Its unique path means that it can pursue modernization by consuming resources and polluting the environment without constraint. It was in Anzi County that the philosophy lush mountains and lucid waters are invaluable assets was conceived. Guided by it, China has been driving industrial transformation and upgrades with fundamental reforms, accelerating the innovation of green and low-carbon technologies. As a result, thousands of places like Anzi have iterated themselves, boasting pleasing economic performance, environment friendliness, and beautiful scenery. In 2015, the local legislative outreach office in Hongqiao, Shanghai was established. Turkish banker Nayan Rona, who is also a resident of Hongqiao sub-district, was invited to serve as a legislative information officer. In years after that, many opinions and suggestions by Rona were considered or adopted by the authorities, covering traffic signage and road sign translation, and updates to the foreign permanent resident ID card. In 2018, his suggestion on China's individual income tax law was adopted by the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, which was later translated into a modification in the law. The local legislative outreach offices represent a brand new mechanism that allows ordinary residents to participate in the country's legislative process. It also reflects how China has spared no efforts in improving its democratic system and advancing the whole process people's democracy. During the past 75 years, numerous friends from other countries have taken part in China's development. They have borne witness to milestones one after another, while being able to feel the people-centered and ever-progressing power of reform behind these achievements. When the international community wonder how China managed to accomplish so many monumental transformations, the foreign friends who were part of such changes are standing nearer to the answer than others. At present, China is at a new starting point of further deepening reform comprehensively, and the journey ahead will welcome more participants from all over the world. I'm Su Lu in Beijing. Thank you for watching.